Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. After a very long time, I am coming back to on my channel and I am going to start a new series which is related to digital electronics. Now if we have to talk about the digital circuitry, this is actually the foundation of digital computers and most of the automated control systems. In modern homes, even most of our appliances, they are dependent upon the digital circuit control. In past, we might have some analog circuits in the devices, but nowadays, the TV sets, the sound systems, the playback equipment, they all are controlled by the digital circuitry. This digital term is actually derived from the way in which the computers perform operations by counting. So, if we have to talk about the digital electronics, it means there are only two possible states in the digital electronics which are corresponding to the two different voltage levels which are either high or low. So, in digital systems, these two states are usually represented by numbers S0 and 1. So, whenever we have to start with the digital electronics, it always starts with the number system. Now, if I talk about the number system, then for what is number system? It is a basis for counting various items. And the most common number system which we use in our daily life is the decimal number system, where we have 10 different digits which are used to for counting like 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. And then by make, combining all these digits, we make further numbers. But modern computers, they communicate and operate with the binary numbers only. So when I'm saying binary number, it means there are only two digits, that is 0 and 1. So in binary, we have only two digits, 0 and 1. 0 is corresponding to low voltage level and 1 is corresponding to high voltage level. So, we can call 0 as low and 1 as high. So, if we have to talk about decimal number system, then it has number 0, 1 up to 9. These are the mm, 10 digits and further numbers, they are formed by their combinations. If we have a decimal number and that has to be represented in binary, then it takes more digits in comparison to the decimal number system. And for large decimal numbers, people have to deal with large binary strings and they do not like to work with the binary numbers. This fact actually leads to the three different new number systems, which are known as octal, hexadecimal, and BCD, where BCD stands for binary coded decimal. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about all these number systems only that how we can rep represent the decimal numbers in binary, in octal, hexadecimal. So, let us start with the, the basic things or the things which are common for all number systems. For defining any number system, we must need the base of that number system. Now, what we mean by base? Base means it decides the number of digits available in that number system. Like in case of decimal number system, we have 10 digits. So, its base is 10. In case of binary number system, we have only 2 digits. So, its base is 2. So, base is base, it is also known as radix, that actually gives us that how many num digits or characters they are required to represent any number system. So, in octal number system, we have 8 digits, in hexadecimal system, we have 16 digits, while this BCD that is slightly different from these 4 number systems. So, firstly, let us focus on binary, decimal, octal and hexadecimal, then we will move on to binary coded decimal number system also, which is actually a code.
and in all the number systems each digit position represents a different multiple of the base now what that means if i simply take the example of the decimal number system which we usually use in our daily life let's take the example of 325 now in 325 it can be written as 300 plus 20 plus 5 so we can write this as 3 into 10 raised to power 2 Plus two into ten raised to power one plus five into ten raised to power zero. Now it means digit five that is have position zero, two is at position one, three is at position two. Like this is the base of the decimal number system raised to power its position and that digit. So this when we sum up this this one is same as three twenty five. So if I summarize the different number systems, we have four number systems: binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. Base of binary is two. It's eight for octal because we have eight digits. In decimal, we have ten, so base is ten. Here in hexadecimal, we have ten digits and then six characters, which makes in total sixteen digits and characters to make this number system. The first digit and the last digit for these numbers, they are respectively. For binary, first number is zero, last is one. For octal, it starts with zero, then one, two, three, four, five, six, up to seven. Decimal starts with zero and ends at nine. Hexadecimal again starts at zero and it ends at f. Now what we see over here, all the numbers they have same first digit that is zero. The first digit is always same. Last digit. Is different depending upon which number system we are using. So, decimal number system is same which we are actually using in our daily life. So, if we have nine digit, ten uh, digits to represent this, starting from zero and going up to nine, which makes the base of this as ten. and the position of each digit with respect to the reference to the decimal point that actually determines the weight or the value in any number system again coming back to this 325 the leftmost digit this one that is known as msb msb is a short form for most significant bit and the rightmost that is lsb lsb is short form for least significant bit now these are the basic things which are applicable to all number systems irrespective whether it's decimal or binary or octal so the leftmost is always most significant bit and the right most is always least significant bit least significant bit means that is having the least weight and most significant bit is the having having the maximum weight like over here this 3 is having maximum weight of 100 and 5 is having minimum weight of 1 only because 10 raised to the power 0 is always 1 so this is what we mean by least significant bit and most significant bit now let's move on to the second number system that is binary number system now in binary number system we have only two digits to represent the number system that is 0 and 1 so this makes the base of this number system as we can have the example of binary number system as 
डबल वन जीरो डबल वन दिस इज लाइक ए होल नंबर वी माइट हैव ए नंबर इन दी फ्रैक्शन आल्सो लाइक दिस सो इफ वी हैव बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम यूजुअली दे आर डिनोटेड लाइक दिस सो दिस सबस्क्रिप्ट दैट एक्चुअली डिनोट्स अ बेस so if we number is written like this it means this is a binary number now third number system is octal number system octal number system is having eight digits so that's why base of this number system is eight it starts from zero goes up to seven and after that if we have to write the writing then they are combinations of all eight digits so, like we can have example of number 567 and if it is written like this then it is an octal number and if someone is trying to write this one as octal this is actually wrong it's not possible because eight is the not not present in the digits of the octal number system so this is incorrect if someone is trying to say this is an octal number system then it's totally wrong octal number can have the digits between 0 to 7 only and the last number system which we have that is the hexadecimal number system now this hexadecimal number system is actually its name comes from the fact that it is having six alphabets and 10 numbers so which makes hexa decimal hexa 6 decimal 10 10 digits from 0 to 9 then we have six alphabets from a to f and this one is the most difficult to interpret but this is most popular it is most popular used in the communication of the computers now we can have the example of hexadecimal number system like 1 a 2 b in subscript we have 16 since we have in total 16 alpha uh, digits along with the alphabets making 16 different characters to represent this number system so this that's why the base of this number system is 16 now what will i do i will summarize the counting in different number systems from there we can see that what is the binary equivalent of decimal number octal equivalent as well as the hexadecimal equivalent so let's start with the decimal number system because this is what we usually it use in our daily life then we will see their binary octal as well as the hexadecimal equivalents so in decimal number systems we can have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 up to 9 only then in binary 0 1 if we have to write next number then what we need to do we have to make their combination now what's the possible combination 1 0 then 1 and 1 they can be combined together next one is 1 double 0 it's just like we are adding 1 to each number 0 plus 1 is 1 now when we are doing binary addition then 1 plus 1 is 1 0 then 10 plus 1 11 and so on then we have 101 corresponding to 5 then 110 111 corresponding to 7 100 for 8 100 double 1 for 9 if we write the octal number system then it starts with 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 after 7 what we have for we don't have 8 in this but next is actually combination of 1 and 0 which is 1 0 then 1 1 then 1 2 and so on 
in hexadecimal we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 is not there before we go with 10 next is a b c d e f then we have 1 0 then 1 1 correspondingly we can actually write the decimal counting as well so this is 10 b is corresponding to 11 c is 12 13 is d 14 is e 15 is e and if we see 16 is 10 we can write the corresponding writing in the binary as well we just need to add 1 so one, 10 is written as 1010 10 is 11 is 1011 12 11 13 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 then this will be 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 now we can see that corresponding to this 13 in different number systems we have the different representation in binary it is represented as double one zero one in octal it is represented as one five and in hexadecimal it is represented as d and after this 1017, if we have to write the next number will be 20. So this is how the counting proceeds in the octal number system. I am stopping here for this video. In the next video, we will see that how we can change one type of number system to another system. So that is basically about the conversion of the number systems. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you are able to understand the basic concept of different number system in the digital electronics.